The phosphagen energy system is active during short burst, high power output activities. This energy system is usually trained by means of sprinting, vertical jumps, or three rep max power cleans, for example. This probably isn't how you've typically viewed conditioning due to its short duration workload. Here's some video examples. The assault bike is a great tool for phosphagen system conditioning. Here we have pro kickboxer Ross Levine performing 10 seconds of maximal force output. Good. Max effort sprints are another great tool to stress the phosphagen system. It's always important to keep in mind that when training in this system, we want a solid 1 to 10 to 1 to 12 work to rest ratio. We need our athletes to become efficient at recovering in this system. The glycolytic energy system is where we start to use dietary carbohydrates through glucose circulating in the blood or from glycogen stores in our muscles and liver. This training is still high in force output, but not quite 100%. It's also of slightly longer duration, lasting anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes. As mentioned earlier, there's fast glycolysis and slow glycolysis. Fast glycolysis is anaerobic or without oxygen, so we tend to experience that lactate buildup, which induces that burnout fatigue. When intensities are lower and of longer duration, we kick into slow glycolysis. This system is aerobic and through its metabolic pathways, which uses oxygen, ATP is replenished more efficiently, which allows us to sustain activity longer. Pairing two relatively high intensity exercises can be a great way to stress the fast glycolytic energy system. Here's an example Good. of football player Cameron Alves performing rope slams and going right into medicine ball slams, where he's exerting relatively high amounts of force and power output. Fair to say Cam was feeling a little fatigued after this circuit. The aerobic system is where we shift into long duration activities where we use about 20 to 30 percent of max effort. Grace plays soccer so there's certainly an aerobic aspect to her sport so it's good for her to train. However, since soccer consists of intermittent short burst movements, we also have her train the other systems. Another example of the aerobic system being used would be through a long distance run. Athletes who are well conditioned in the aerobic system can replenish ATP efficiently enough to sustain prolonged activity. If you're a distance runner, or a triathlon competitor, this would be right up your alley. I hope you found these videos helpful and feel free to drop a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you soon.